Hello, my name is Brianna Lowe, and thank you for clicking on this video. I wanted to talk about something really exciting. I wanted to kind of tell you my story about how I manifested my new car and the things that I did, some techniques that I think would help anybody who has clicked on this video. Um, if you're trying to manifest a new car, uh, if you just want some inspiration or just want to hear a story, I've got a story for you. So basically, I'll just get right into it. I started out with my first car, my very first car, was a 2006 Ford Fusion. So I went from that car and now I have my dream car, which I'm so, so thankful for. It's a 2019 Porsche Macan. And I, th I think I became serious about it or became deliberate about manifesting it right around 2019 so the end of 2019 I put it on a vision board and honestly I'm still shocked that I have it um sometimes it just like whenever I sit in the car I'm like how did like I just I'm just so appreciative of my reality so a couple of things uh this video is by no means a bragging video I really want this to be more of a testimony and to help inspire someone to you know get what they want in life and to create their own reality because I truly believe that your thoughts uh, create and it's just it's something that I've wanted to share a lot of you know I've spent these past two years really really changing my life like my life has changed in so many ways I'm in a different state I drive a different car, I, you know, have gone through a lot of educational accomplishments and I would always belittle, I would always belittle them and not really think that I manifested them and it's just so weird because you're manifesting all the time, 24-7, uh, but I just didn't think that they were huge accomplishments even when they happened, so yeah this this goal this goal that I accomplished here with my car I felt like okay I'm a master manifester I need to I need to start sharing my truth and hopefully inspiring other people so yes like I think I said already but I started off with a 2006 Ford Fusion and that was my very first car and then I just now have um, graduated to the 2019 Porsche Macan. It is my dream car. I had it on my vision board um, the end of 2019 and I did not really know how I was going to get it, but I, ha I was just thinking in my head of different ways that I could, which you're, you, you don't really have to worry about the how ever. Um, you just have to know exactly what you want and that I did know. I wanted a very specific type of car and um, it's interesting because the car that I have now isn't exactly what I wanted but it's it's better and I had the option to choose so let me just let me just tell you how it went down. So I want to say back in 2020 is when I made the decision and I felt very confident in this decision to give my car away, my 2006 Ford Fusion. I was living in an apartment at the time in Las Vegas and the car that I had, my 2006 Ford Fusion, I loved it, by the way, I loved that car. My car's name was Blue and I had it with a full Bluetooth system like I installed a Bluetooth system and like speakers and all this fun stuff uh, I would drive it from Las Vegas to LA all the time and listen to Ariana Grande on the way it was I loved that car so much and it had so much trunk space okay but um anyways aside from that point I I don't know I just every time I drove it I just it just wasn't I just didn't feel like it was my car. It's very, very hard to explain, but I wanted to, I just wanted to share my car and I wanted to, I made the decision to give my car to my little brother. And when I did this, I felt very good and I felt very confident that 
I was going to be provided with a new car and that everything was going to work out. I was, I was going through a phase y'all. I, I really was. I would not recommend doing this, but, um, yeah, I, I went through a phase where I was trying to be very minimalistic and I didn't even want a car. I was working remotely. I didn't really need a car. So I gave it to my younger brother who had just moved out of our parents' house and he was living in an apartment and he actually needed a car. So I gave my 2006 Ford Fusion blue to my brother and I lived without a car for a couple of months. Um, and during this time, I thought that I was going to win the car just outright. So I had gone on different websites, kind of like if you have ever heard of omaze.com or there's like different sites that you can go to online and you can put yourself in a lottery or put yourself in a raffle and they announce certain cars and stuff. So when I went to Omaze, there was a Porsche. It was a Porsche Cayenne. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is it. This is totally it. I'm just gonna, like, this is what I'm gonna do. This is how I'm gonna get the car. Um, which you just, you don't really need to figure out the how, you know, but anyways, um, I was just so, <coughs> excuse me, I was so set on that being the way I was going to receive it. So I had it in my head. This car is mine. Like without a, without a doubt, I was like, I'm going to get this car and months went by and then they announced the winners for all the other cars and all the other prizes. And I was not one of them. So in my head, I was like, this is so weird because I had asked for confirmation about giving my car to my brother and I felt like it was such a good decision for me I had I had a lot of peace about it so when I wasn't winning a car or when I was putting myself in these raffles for different cars and you know thinking of the cash prizes that would allow me to afford the the car that I wanted the car of my dreams it I still wasn't getting it so I was like what the heck is going on this is this is not how it's supposed to go down. I wasn't completely disappointed, but I was kind of just questioning myself. Like, I know that I'm going to get it, but why isn't it happening now? And I think that that delayed me a lot in my progress or at least having the car come to me in a quicker fashion. So that is something to consider. Um, when you're trying to manifest something, don't worry about the time. Don't stress about it. Just focus on your imagination. And one thing that I do want to state here right now before I go any further, um, this, this thick boy right here, this thick boy, um, Neville Goddard, I go by a lot of his teachings and his principles because it's based off of scripture. So, um, yeah, if, if I don't read this book, then I'm usually reading the Bible to kind of decode and see how to use my imagination to manifest my reality. So just wanted to let you know, that's kind of my, that's kind of how I go about things. And I can also make a separate video on who Neville Goddard even is and how to manifest in the ways that he describes through scripture and through the Bible. So anyways, um, one of the biggest things that helped me was going right before going to bed and falling asleep i would i would relax my body and i would put myself in the state of already having the car and uh and here's a little side story that's very funny because when i was doing that i kept i kept going to sleep in that state I kept visualizing having the car, feeling the car, and one of these mental, one of these images that I had was the car outside of my apartment. So every time I walked down the steps and I opened the door, I would see the car um, underneath the parking, the parking hood or the parking lot, like just under one of those garages. I would see it and I would always be like, oh, that's so beautiful, that's so beautiful. One day, I woke up and I went downstairs and the car was looking me straight in the face and it wasn't mine. 
it was my next door neighbors who just moved in and it was the exact same color it was the exact same everything so I want to be very clear that um, you need to be very clear with your manifestations you have to visualize yourself driving in the car um, and you have to be very specific because you will get that visualization, but it may not be um, exactly what you're looking for. It was actually crazy when that happened because it was confirmation for me and I, and I laughed when that happened. Exact model and everything. I mean, I, I was laughing that, that God <laughs> kind of put that, put that in my face and said, you know, here, here you go. This is your manifestation, but it wasn't to the fullest extent but it gave me a lot of encouragement to keep going. So I kept visualizing, I kept going to sleep in that state of having the car. And one day, my parents give me a call and my brother had been in an accident. Uh, he was in an accident with the, with the car and thankfully he's okay. Um, he's actually, miraculously, he could have been way more damaged than what he was. He didn't even, he didn't even have to stay in the hospital for long. He just went to urgent care and then came right back to his apartment. He was perfectly fine. Um, what a blessing because the car was totaled. Like blue was gone. <laughs> like RIP, RIP, okay? <laughs> to blue. So... Having that information, um, it really, it really scared me and I was very worried about my brother's health and, you know, just how, how was he going to get around? I mean, now both of us are out of cars. So, um, yeah, looking back on it, it was, I was very, very grateful that he, that he came out alive and that we were all just safe and healthy. So it was after that, we, we had like a couple of weeks and this was, um, I want to say with every type of story, you have like an up, there's always like a plot twist, right? And I don't know, it's, it's for dramatic effect, right? Like how dramatic for my brother to get into an accident and go through this whole period. It was kind of like the storm, you know, there was, there was just so much happening and so much going on during that time. And then shortly thereafter, I ended up getting my car and, and, sorry, my phone is ringing. Hold on just one second. I swear to God, people be testing me when I'm trying to make a video. Okay, anyways, I don't even know where, I don't even know where I was at. I don't even know. Okay, so my brother got into a car accident. Everything was fine with him and the car was totaled. Next couple of days after are very crucial because it was kind of like, that was like the worst, you know, that was like, that was like, oh, that was the despair part of the movie. You know what I mean? Um, then Memorial Day snuck up on us and I had a day off. I had, um, so we all got a day off and my dad and I, we both had, you know, we both had free days. So I asked him and I said, hey, do you want to go car shopping with me? And then I also invited my mom. Um, we, and they said yes. So they were like, they were okay with it. And they said, hey, while we're at it, I'll look for a car for your brother. I'm like, oh, okay, perfect. So they were, they were naturally compelled to go with me so that they can also look for a car for my brother, which I thought was really interesting. I don't think they would have said yes if it was just, you know, me shopping. I mean, maybe they would have, but who knows? Looking, looking back 2020. So they went car shopping with me, also looking around shopping for my brother. And I had, I had already gone to the Porsche dealership and I had met pretty much like the entire staff. <laughs> and I had been doing test drives, like seeing which car I really wanted. So this is where it gets interesting. The car that I wanted was the the Porsche Cayenne, which is like a bigger, it's a bigger model. And I wanted the red interior, black exterior. I was like strict about that. I was like, that's what I want. That's what I need, not need, but you, you know what I'm saying. I called them a couple of times and I was waiting for, they knew exactly what I wanted. I was waiting for that model to come in. So I gave them a call 
as we were car shopping at other places like CarMax and all of these other, you know, all of these other dealerships. I give them a call, one of the salesmen, and I say, hey, do you guys have the model that I'm looking for in? And he goes, actually, yes, we've, we just got one in and it hasn't, it hasn't even been put on our parking lot. It hasn't been put on the website, nothing. So you can come in and see it. You'll be the first one. I'm like, great, that's awesome. So we go over there and I was so excited to be in that car. I was like, oh my gosh, this is like, this is my dream. I gotta have this car. This is amazing. Uh, I get in the car and we go for a test drive. And as I'm driving it, I'm like, hmm, it just, it felt different. And my dad, who was sitting in the back seat, he goes, because my mom was in the passenger, my dad was like, I don't like how this drives. And I go, yeah, I agree. And then it was just a weird feeling. As I'm driving the exact car that I wanted, it just wasn't, it didn't feel right. It didn't, it didn't feel like it was the one for me. Um, and when that happened, I kind of had this, this intuition feeling, right? Because there was another car that was blue and had, um, gray interior. It wasn't, you know, it caught my eye, but it wasn't like, it wasn't the exact match that I wanted as I was, you know, sifting through all the cars that were there. So something in me, I was like, okay, well, if this car doesn't feel exactly, I just didn't really like the way that it drove. It's like, let me, let me also test drive this other car. I got in the car and it was playing Ariana Grande. And I told you guys that the inside of the interior was gray and the exterior was blue. Um, <laughs> so I drove this car. It drove so beautifully my dad was like yeah this car is amazing my mom was like this is awesome you should get this and i was like oh, this is amazing not to mention my camera died <laughs> not to mention the fact that <sighs> it was blue it was literally blue it was playing <sighs> guys like i can get chills about this now it was my dad made a joke and he's like, it's almost as if your old car, Blue, died and resurrected after like, after a couple of days because the exterior of the car is blue, the interior of the car is gray, it's like a slate gray, and that, that was my old car. It was blue and then the interior was gray. Also, when I sat in the car, it was playing Ariana Grande, which is the same, it was the same album that I would always listen to as I was driving to LA back and forth from Las Vegas to LA for college for whatever the reason may be so guys it was it just felt so right so we go down okay so so this is this is where it actually matters okay because the finances they were they were trying to they were trying to oof me you know they since I was a first time buyer and a first time car owner, they were trying to give me like triple the interest rate. And I couldn't find like a loan that was good enough or that was su suffice, right? So I thought that I wasn't gonna get the car. Long story short, even though this is a very long story anyways, I, I knew in my heart that I really wanted this car and I said, you know what? I, I really had to let go. I had to let go of the situation. If this car is for me, then it will be for me. They ended up calling me the next day saying that I would get, you know, the lowest interest rate possible, which was amazing for that car. And yeah, all of a sudden, so they went from like 12% interest to less than four. Um, I don't know how that happened. They, they called me, they, they did some, they did some weird stuff and all of a sudden I could now afford the car. So I say all of this because I thought that I was going to win it in a completely different way. And, and you know, there are going to be some people that, that would diminish this as well and be like, Oh, well it was just, it seems so simple now. Like you, you got a loan. Like that's, that's whatever. That's very natural. But this is the point guys. This is the point that I would, 
love to make in this video. It does not have to, manifesting does not have to come like thin air, like it can, I guess, but like it doesn't, it's, it's the most logical. It's the most natural. Like I even wrote down, um, the definition of manifest. The adjective is clear or obvious to the eye or mind. And the verb is to display or show by one's acts or appearance to demonstrate. So keep that in mind that things that you want in your life, it's not going to happen in you know, the craziest way, or it's not going to be in some, it, it can be, but it's not, it's not going to seem ridiculous. It's going to be as simple as getting a cup of coffee. It's going to be as simple as, okay, I want, I want a cup of coffee. So I'm going to go to a coffee shop or I'm going to order the coffee beans through an online website. Like there's different ways to get the coffee, but at the end of the day, you get the coffee through a natural process. It's not like, you know, you go into a meditation and then all of a sudden you wake up and the coffee is like already been digested in your body. Like it's, it's natural. It's logical. It's real. And it happens to regular people like me. And, um, yeah, now I am really happy and I drive my car. I cried for like the first three weeks, almost every day that I got into the car. Yeah, <laughs> uh, it was it was a big, big, big shift for me. And I'm just very grateful. Ooh, also hi, so I'm editing this right now. My brother also got a new car too. So my dad ended up buying a car that is perfect for my brother. So don't worry about him, he's all good, okay? He was blessed too. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much for watching. And yeah, I have more stories like this to come. And if you have any questions, go ahead, put them in the comments below. If you're trying to manifest a new car, let me know what car that is. Cause I love classic cars too. And I love, I don't know. I just think that, I think that whatever you want, you can have and yeah, just live your, live your best life. Okay. Bye.